we've always been a bit unlucky about the reaction of cesium and water. We've tried it several times. It's meant to go explosively, but always it's been a bit of a disappointment, sometimes a real disappointment. We decided we would try a quick experiment to see cesium reacting with water using a high-speed camera. This is just a quick demonstration to see what happens. This is not a carefully controlled scientific experiment. Of course, it's controlled, so it's safe, but we haven't fixed every parameter in the way that you would do if you were doing a carefully adjusted experiment. Because high-speed filming needs very bright lights, the heat of the light made sure that cesium, which has a low melting point, was nicely liquid before we broke the ampoule. When you break the ampoule, the shock of breaking it broke up the cesium into quite a few little droplets. And you can see these droplets spreading out and falling towards the water. What was surprising that you can see these individual droplets of metal have a vapour trail. They're clearly reacting with something in the air. It could be with the oxygen, but we think it's probably due to the water vapour. With the hot lamps, there was quite a lot of vapour coming from the water. So the reaction between cesium and water begins in the gas phase with essentially the um, water vapour that is above it. And then when these droplets hit the water, each of the droplets starts reacting quite violently. It's important to stress that reactions between molten metals and water are very well studied. There are a whole series of papers. I've got one here which Brady likes, first of all because it's from the journal Nature. The reason he likes it is it from 1973, three years before he was born. Now, of course, I'm a chemist, so we come back to the chemistry, and cesium reacting with water should make the water alkaline because we're making cesium hydroxide, cesium plus ions, OH minus ions, and therefore the water should be alkaline. So you might ask yourself, what would have happened if we had put an indicator into the water before we did the explosion? So we only thought about it afterwards, but luckily we still had rubidium to react. So we have tried rubidium with an indicator. Keep watching to see what happened for us. You may have seen videos on the internet where people say there are reactions of cesium and I've been told on quite good authority that occasionally rubidium has reacted better and they've switched the film so what is labelled cesium on the film may actually be rubidium. We get lots and lots of emails from our viewers and we try our best to answer at least some of them, but some of them make points which are quite difficult to explain why they're wrong without pages of explanation, and we're not experts in some of these fields anyway. But if you send us an email and we don't respond, this is not because we're ignoring what you're saying, but just because we're human and we can't answer everything.